Hi, my name is Bruce Murphy, and I'm the vice chair for the Twinning Ministry and the leader of the Education Subcommittee. This year, the main goal of our Lenten project is to complete an additional dormitory for the girls needed due to the increased enrollment of girls at the school. They are currently sleeping in a classroom due to limited space. Bishop Joseph Akuru graciously donated the land and a partial building to the school to provide for additional space. This project will shore up the current structure, install flooring, windows, doors, a roof, and ceiling, along with providing a well and water containers. The school will still need to purchase beds and mattresses to complete the dorm. Hello everyone. Uh, behind me is the incomplete structure that we plan to change into a girls dormitory. This land initially and the structure did not belong to the school. But with the intervention of uh, Bishop Echiru, who purchased this land and donated it to the school to support the growing needs of the increasing number of the girl child. This block will be able to accommodate 144 girls, which will increase the population and therefore enable the school to reach a certain level of sustainability. It is my humble request to you out there to join us in prayer and support the growth for the completion of the structure because it will help us support more vulnerable children or disadvantaged girls and save them from a lot of challenges that they go through out there when they commute or walk from home. I pray that the good Lord blesses you and takes good care of you. Thank you. The dormitories are such an important part of the school and the overall education of the children. By providing dormitories for the students, it increases the attendance rate of the children at Holy Angels School by allowing them to reside there. It also affords them a better nutrition plan with meals provided at the school. And thirdly, it provides for them an overall safer learning environment. Right behind me is Father Simon Peter Wancha Girls Dormitory, one of the two dormitories that was built by St. Max Milan, Kolbe, uh, to accommodate the girls. Uh, this dormitory accommodates 105 girls uh, uh, and the lady taking care of them. So, thank you. Last September, I went on the St. Max immersion trip to Uganda. I visited the school and got to meet the teachers, students, and staff. They are amazing people. One of my favorite highlights was worshiping with the students who are so full of reverence, love, and joy for the Lord. What an inspiration. I also visited the girls' temporary dorm. I was surprised how clean and tidy it was, but it was absolutely crammed with back-to-back -back bunk beds with little aisles in between. They need more space, and you can help. We cry out to God for the poor, asking you to help where you can, to make the future of this school a place where young people can grow in their faith while attaining an education. Your support this year will make a difference in the lives of these students and their families. Please pray about what God would ask of you. Thank you for your generosity. On behalf of the Twinning Ministries, we would like to thank Father Jim, Father Henry, and Father Simon Peter for their support of this Lenten project.